Hi guys, I hope you're doing all right. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to query PDF files with Python, Pinecone as a vector database, and Langchain to use the JetGPT model of OpenAI. The good thing is it has no limitations, so you can query a PDF file with five pages but you can also query a PDF file with 500 pages. And the better thing is, it's going to be a tutorial in about five minutes. You get all the content in less than five minutes. So let's start right away. So we have two files, basically. Um, I'm going quickly over the files so you um, understand what I did there. First of all, you need to set the OpenAI API key. And from there on, we initialize the pinecone database we also need the pinecone api key as a environment variable and the environment of the pinecone database our index name is going to be langchain demo um, we get the the indexes and if the index name we specify here is not in the list it will create the index our genie class is basically responsible to split down the the text into chunks of 1000 characters um, all these chunks are going to be indexed or yeah, uploaded into the vector database and from there on it can then query um, yeah all the results and answer based on that that means um, all of our text gets embedded and then uploaded to the vector database and our query is also embedded and the nearest neighbor of this query is then used as an input to the jet gpt and from there on, it has like a, a context and can answer our question. It won't be possible if you, if you put uh, 50 pages with, let's say, 20,000 words into the JetGPT, neither the API of JetGPT, because it's limited to 8,000 characters, approximately. The PDF loader is uh, just a little script to transcribe pdf files into text files as we use text files um, to chunk down exactly here um, yeah this method is just here to to um, to upload the the embeddings to pinecone and the ask method is just a long chain handler. So let's start. Our question is going to be what happens if power block is broken? If the power block is broken, can I fix it myself? I have no experience with the Thermomix. We use the following PDF. Uh, it's just a manual of the Thermomix. This little device, it has 43 pages. And yeah, if we if we have to go through, uh, it takes a while. And we already got our answer. If the power cord on the base unit has been damaged, it must be replaced by the manufacturer, its repair service, or similarly qualified persons to avoid hazards. Never attempt to repair the base yourself. Um, to be precise now, you can do that with every PDF file you have. And that's the awesome use case of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I would be very happy if you liked the video and also subscribe to my channel. See you next time.